We all left. We left. We'll see you Monday, guys. And we started getting pictures. And then it all kind of becomes a blur at that point. And I was here on Sunday, just taking a look at the campus and the, um, the devastation. Um, I was worried about our teachers, about our students. Where were they going to be? One of the first places I went to see was the library. Um, you know, you knew when you walked in, it was, a, it was going to be a total loss. Yeah. So it was pretty empty, and then I cried. <laughs> I'm just be completely honest, I cried. Out of about 15,000 books, um, I was able to save 800 books. Every, every classroom pretty much on this campus had a classroom library that teachers had collected books over the years. And to see that gone, to see them just feel defeated at some level. We found that a lot of the classroom teacher sets were gone and they pay for those out of their own pocket. We all watched on TV and saw the devastation and we all knew we wanted to do something to help and it was, it was a no-brainer. Our mission is to make sure we help every student discover the joy and power of reading. So it was a natural fit for our team. We were looking at a partnership focused on one thing, helping rebuild the classroom libraries at these schools that were devastated by Hurricane Harvey. It's just the magic happened. And what's exciting to me is that Life Touch and Scholastic are both companies where the bottom line is kids. Having this this partnership come in and do this for our teachers is really, really amazing. These kids, they, they deserve it. Clifford, the big red dog, is joining us today. Come on out, Clifford. <laughs> I was a little speechless because I thought, well, why us? Why are we getting this? You know, but at the same time, I was so excited for that. Well, Principal Tran, on behalf of Life Touch and Scholastic, the books that Fulton Learning Center is receiving today, it, it's going to have an impact for years to come, not just this year. So I'm grateful for that. Today after it was all over, and the books are, they're not, they're up front, and then there are also a bunch of books on the stage. One of the teachers walked up on stage, and she, she's looking at the books, and she looks around, and she's seeing none of her fellow teachers are up there with her, and so she turns around, and she does like this. She's like, come on guys, come up and look. And it was just like the floodgates opened. They all ran up to the stage and they're pouring through these books, looking at them. They were um, so appreciative and so grateful. And I think just humbled by the gesture and, you know, to see that from them, that feeling of, oh my goodness, this is something that I don't have to take care of anymore. This is something I don't have to worry about anymore. As their leader, that's what, that's what you want to see. You want to see that worry taken away. It just made this leader's heart just swell. And so I guess I could not say thank you enough to all of the individuals that put this together and made this possible because it just means so much. More than probably what you could ever know.